art by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. From Clots Productions, welcome back to another Magic the Gathering gameplay. For this match, we have Mark playing Jund, and he's going up against Chris with zombies. Mark was on the play for this game and started off by playing an overgrown tomb and paying two life to have it come into play untapped. He then used it to cast a Deathrite Shaman. Chris then just put a Rakdos Guildgate into play and passed it back. Mark laid down a Dragon Skull Summit and attacked with his Shaman, taking Chris to 19. Chris then put a Swamp into play and played a Knight of Infamy. Mark played a Blood Crypt untapped, going down to 16, and then played a Liliana of the Veil. He then forced Chris to sacrifice his knight. He attacked with his shaman again, taking Chris to 18. Chris played a Geralt's Messenger, dropping Mark down to 14. Then Mark put another Blood Crypt into play untapped, going down to 12, and resolved in Olivia Valderin. Chris played a Cavern of Souls in his turn, naming Devil, and played a Hell Rider. He then attacked with the Hell Rider along with his Messenger, immediately doing 2 damage to Mark, dropping him to 10. Mark chose to trade his Olivia with the Hell Rider and chump block the Messenger with his Shaman. Mark played a Huntmaster of the Fells going back up to 12. He then forced discards with his Liliana and threw away a Dreadboard while Chris just threw away a Blood Crypt. Chris then laid down an untapped Blood Crypt going down to 16 and cast a Thundermaw Hellkite. He then attacked with his Hellkite along with his Messenger for 8 damage which Mark decided to take going down to 4. Mark played a Cavern of Souls of his own on his turn naming Beast and then resolved a Thrag Tusk going back up to 9 life. He attacked with his Wolf along with his Huntmaster, which Chris took, going down to 12. Then he used the rest of his loyalty from Liliana to make Chris sacrifice another creature, so he got rid of his Messenger, which came back with Undying, and took two more life from Mark, dropping him back to 7. Chris then attacked in the air with his Hellkite again, taking Mark down to 2. Then post-combat, he played a second Garoff's Messenger, finishing Mark off and taking them to Game 2. So that's it for this gameplay. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and possibly add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.